So in this problem, we're looking at an application of functions. We're given that the number of unread emails in Brian's account is 100. This number grows by 15 unread emails a day. And the function n of t equals 100 plus 15t represents the relation between the number of emails n and the time t measured in days. Part A, we're asked to determine the independent and dependent variable. Well, n, which equals the number of emails, depends on time t. So n is the dependent variable. The number of emails depends on the independent variable t equals the independent variable. And anytime we're given a function in function notation, uh, the input, what's in parentheses, in this case t, is going to be our independent variable. And what's on the outside is going to be our dependent variable, because it depends on the variable that's inside the parentheses. Now we're asked to find n of 7. So we substitute 7 in for t. So n of 7 equals 100 plus 15 times 7 which equals 100 plus 105, which equals 205. So since 7 equals the number of days, let's explain what this result means. Since 7 equals the number of days, it means, and since n equals the number of unread emails, so the number of emails, it means after 7 days, Brian will have 205 emails.